Hey everybody, Jeff here. Welcome back to Dishonored. Uh, mission clues updated. We have to, I have to find the, okay, Samuel the Boatman has smuggled you across the river from Cold Ridge Prison. He works for an underground movement, uh, as opposed to the illegal reign of the Lord Regent, blah, blah, blah. I want, nope, I want tasks. Meet with the loyalists in the bar. I can go to the bar. I'll happily go to the bar. Oh, I thought that was a harpoon gun. I was like, damn, that's a big gun to have just out right here. Um... I don't think there's anything to like look around or collect really. We can we can we can wander a little bit. Yeah, see he wants me to go in there. Uh ta -ta -ta. It's you know what? It's nice. It's very thoughtful of them to make this wheelchair accessible. Very cool of you guys. Mysteries of Pandicia, excerpt from the book on the far continent. At the Academy of Natural Philosophy, they speak of the Pandician, Pandician continent as a place of wonder where all of life has intertwined and blossomed across eons, producing a vibrant ecology unrivaled in the civilized world. The overseers from the Abbey of the Everyman, by contrast, talk of horror and heresies, of cults of submen engaged in brutal, perverse rituals. I mean, so they masturbate to the Teletubbies. Big deal. Uh, the few who have traveled to the far continent and come back to the isles, those who have actually touched the soil there, have returned with notes that describe vast deserts, deep jungles, and outlandish creatures that defy belief. Uh, once in a generation, a great effort is mounted to build a colony there, in hopes of this someday growing into a port city to rival Dunwall itself. But to date, these attempts have all ended in madness and failure. Well, let's, by all means, let's keep trying then. Uh, Cape of Teeth map. Yes, please. That sounds gross. Is it like... Like actual teeth? Because that'd be nuts. Okay. Uh, I think I can look around here later. We're just gonna... We're gonna head inside for now. I What's up, Samuel? I hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. Okay, he's busy. He's busy. He's busy talking to me. So it's starting at last, Admiral. We found our man. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour. Oh God, your face! Corvo, <laughs> I'm Admiral Havelock, a true servant of the Empire. You have the like face you. of the face of a trustworthy Until the Lord friend. Region purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the house. Okay. This is a momentous occasion. I need you to tone the eyes down a little bit, buddy. Out. Trevor. We've been building a coalition of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans. But we can't yeah, do you have a big cup for me, like the one you're holding? We need your skills, your ability in a fight. Because I've had a and long helping, six months, friend. We're going to help friend. you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times. Piero, that's our inventor dude. Okay. That right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. You, really? Go you're going to drink in front of me and not offer me a drink, and then you're going to smoke in front of me and not offer me a smoke? I've been in prison, man. You don't know what I've seen. What I've done. What I haven't been able to... Oh, what? Why am I back here all of a sudden? Nothing against the others, but there's no substitute for a man who's done his service for the crown. Yeah. Have you talked to Piero yet? No, I, I was... The weapons I was for you gonna go and... Oh, hi. I'm gonna steal your change off the floor. <laughs> I mean, I know you're a business and everything here, but... Uh, Samuel did say you're closed, so... We're gonna just, you know. I'm assuming you don't need this. You're probably not currently paying rent or taxes or anything, so. Let's see. Anything else to steal? That. I can steal that. Okay. Uh, Piero. Cool. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. Hi. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. 
It's like a sniper rifle. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil's run out. Okay. Like, Will you get, a new get some more. From upstairs, please, while I hold this in place. Be careful. I will craft for you the tools of a master assassin, but first you will be my gopher. Okay. So let's take that this. One is empty. A new tank. Hey, you know what? You know what? Fuck you. I speculated this might happen. <laughs> Did you? You speculated that I would throw an empty tank at you? You must be a very smart individual, indeed. Okay, nothing good in there, huh? Books, though, lots of books. Uh, dead counter responsibilities. Uh, commissioned by the Lord Regent in the face of the growing plague crisis, the dead counter is a position that will only be given to officers, usually of junior or middle grades. In most matters of edict or curfew enforcement, these officers will defer to the acting officer on duty. However, any dead counter will have command in situations related to the plague and the handling of the dead, including those with late-stage plague sy symptoms, called weepers in common parlance. Parlance? Parlance? Parlance. Parlay. Let's parlance. Okay. Starting in the month of rain, interested officers may apply for the test and, if accepted, for the two-week training tour. Uh, pay will be administered in coin and rations of elixir at one and one half normal your pay grade. Ooh, that's not bad. We should go do that, maybe. Failed experiments. Excerpts from a series of lectures on natural philosophy by Piero Joplin. Of course I have attempted to improve upon Sokolov's design. Of course, and why not? After all, it is likely that his thinking was influenced in some small way by our, ti by our time together at the Academy. We are all part of a community striving to unknot the mysteries of the cosmos. Even those among us who possess the greatest minds are often led to a fruitful line of consideration by, how does one say it, our intellectual subordinates. Sokolov is no exception to this, despite the glamour of genius he has cast over the aristocracy. And further, it is true that many of my experiments have failed. No need to gossip about it behind my back in your social clubs and in the very chambers of the academy itself. Great ambition requires risks. You may laugh now at my door to nowhere, but someday you will not. Your children will likely see it as, a co as commonly as you see the electric lamps lighting our streets at night. But a few short years ago, you would have laughed at Sokolov's ar arc pylon, or wall of light. Your laughter, your condescending smiles, they are nothing but evidence of your own limited imagination. You poo-poo heads. So, Pier uh, Piero... It's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder. Whale vivisection. Yeah, I'm not going to read about vivisecting whales. You guys can pause this and read that if you want. Uh, whale oil processing. Out at sea. Secure the... Nope. Uh, once again, you, that, yeah, that's up to you guys. Hemlock essence. Am I crouched or is this a really tall table? This seems tall. Uh, refilling station. Sokolov no longer has the upper hand with... Uh, regard to supplies of whale oil, the good admiral has paid for the installation of my own system, which will enable me to work in this place. The oil tank dispenser, when activated, will produce an empty vessel for filling. When the empty tank is held near the oil tank refill pump, the magnetic attractor should take the tank and lock it into the correct configuration. Using the level will begin the refilling process. Once refilling is completed, the tank can be removed and placed in, placed in service. Ah, sorry. Extreme caution must be used in handling the tank, the full tanks. They are quite unstable. Oh, I should throw one of those at him. <laughs> the system is sound and well engineered. It appears that the Greaves Oil Company has done something correctly for once. Okay. Uh... The Academy teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. How does, like, I know they used to use whale oil for all sorts of shit, but, like, what makes it better than other oil? process of adaptation produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substance... That sounds terrible. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities, subject and <laughs> I'm gonna need immunity from slowly crushing a person over several years. Can I get that? Can I? Is that something I can get? 
Uh, this doesn't look empty. Oh, it's already full. Okay, cool. Um. Oh, there's a note. Piero's door to nowhere. The door to nowhere has proven to be a safety hazard. But for me, <laughs> this project is an endless source of inspiration. With the proper application of energies, I believe I can transform the door frame into a window of sorts. One that will allow a traveler to cover the distance from my workshop to some distant arbitrary point in a single step. Currently, the step leads to a sheer drop straight down into the courtyard. But in time, it will bridge gaps that will boggle the mind. Such work is many years away, to be sure. But if I survive this plague, I'm sure to succeed. Well, you... This is your door to... Okay, you have fun with your... Uh, what did they call them? Like, now plug it in. Thieves bell waiters or whatever. Just get it. Or thieves balconies. The there, it's and plugged it in. Happy. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see, the assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. Not if they don't see me. Hold still. The fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? The lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could Except for this weird like tunnel vision. Yeah, it's great. for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables and I will resell them on the Steal block. everything that's not nailed down. Need to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make you. Jeez, calm down. So I actually have that mask. I have a prop of that that came with the Dishonored 2 Special Edition. And, like, when he put it on, you could see the inside had, like, red fabric on it. The prop has red fabric that you can see from the outside, but when you look at the mask in-game, it's white fabric. So I don't know... I don't know who was in charge of that, but they fucked up. All right, so what can I buy? Grenade, rewire tool, spring razor, sleep... Upgrades, that's what I want. Accuracy. What do I have? 838 coins. Uh, combat sleep dart. I'm not going to need those. So we're going to do bolt capacity. And bone charm. Oh, I don't know if I need these right now. I can't remember if I use bone charms or not. Okay, that's the only one I actually really need right now. So we're just gonna just gonna wait. We're gonna hold off on it. I own one of ten, so we're gonna need more of those definitely. Uh, let's just grab. There we go. We're gonna wait for now. You I'm... must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. I will, but I need to look around and steal shit Very from well. you so I can you pay you. Best. Let me know if you need anything. Get me out of here! Let me move! Come on! Okay. So. He's got stuff, yeah, everywhere. A second solution. Excerpt, uh, even though it's no fault of my own, the average citizen has expressed a preference for Sokolov's elixir over my own formula, sold as Piero's remedy, which is, you never find, so it can't be that good. Um, this I think this is just him bitching about how his stuff is looked over. It's through no fault of my own that the average, uh, uh sold his Piero's Remedy, a name I did not choose, if you must know the truth. The public has spoken its unusual message, its usual message of idiocy, spending their coin as a means of selecting Sokolov's formula over mine, which I believe to be equal, if not superior. Much has been made over the popularity of these concoctions as a means of resisting this remarkable new plague. I say remarkable because this strain works with an e efficiency we have not seen in the history of the Empire. This plague, now making its way through the city of Dunwall, is unrivaled in its effectiveness. I have studied it uh, within the blood of those so afflicted, and it's nearly perfect. Elegant, in fact. And while it is true that Piero's remedy and Sokolov's elixir are known to protect the body against the plague equally, my own has properties not fully understood. Why don't you understand the things that you're making, Piero? Which relate to the mind itself, and the spirit, and the toes. And it is in this way that my formula wins out. Here is where one should pay attention to this contest. For you see, Sokolov's elixir, with its emphasis on the brute animal body, 
is a cross goo, crass goo, sorry, crass goo, better suited for livestock. The subtle and secret variants in the key ingredients making up Piero's remedy is ensure that it works on a higher on the higher functions that separate humankind from the mindless blue-jawed hagfish swimming in the Renhaven River. Well, it's good to know that they're blue jaws. Piero's request is denied. Piero, no, I will not sign off on these purchases. A bag of powdered crystal, Tivian ore. What's wrong with the metals in crystal? King Sparrow feathers? If you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. Maybe at the academy everything you needed was paid for by tariff and handed out willy-nilly, but this is my bar, or what's left of it, and we're operating on a budget, goddammit. We're running low on food, oil, elixir, building materials, and everything else, even porn, so you've got, your, you've got to slow down on the porn consumption. And stop ruining it. Every time you have it, you, nobody else can use it afterwards. While I'm footing the bill, I will not approve your purchases unless they're absolutely required. No more copper wire or special herbs. If you need those things, go out and scavenge them. Half the city's in ruins, so no one's going to miss any of the odd crap you seem to need. Sincerely, Admiral Havelock. I'll take that. And that. Is there something hiding under there? No. Bummer. Okay. Um... So yeah, I can I can go and I can just go to sleep, but there's things we can collect. Uh, and you know what? I think these episodes are going to run a little longer than 20 minutes. Uh, let's see. Sokolov Technology and the New Age. One of the advantages of Sokolov Technologies is that they share some uh, the same magnetic socket for the tanks of processed whale oil they use as fuel. When a tank is exhausted, another can be plugged into place with ease, and the process is simple enough that any common workman or even the lower guardsmen of the city watch can handle the task. This applies to the arc pylon and the wall of light, security systems, as well as the powered carriages used for transport by those few who are wealthy enough to afford them. The only obvious downside of Sokolov's designs is the vol volatility of the tanks themselves. A few incidents have occurred, resulting in damage to property or bodily harm wherever one of the tanks has exploded. Ugh. This is gonna be... Reading all... I wanna read all of these, because I love all the world building in this. It's going to be difficult, though, because I started to notice today that, oh, my nose is a little stuffy. My throat's a little scratchy. I'm going to be so pissed if I'm getting sick again already. I was like, what, it was September that I was sick? October? Not again. Not like this. I'm stuck. Okay, now I'm not. I need a key, damn it. Give me a key. Where'd he go? Okay. I just want to make sure we grabbed everything we can up here. Oh, hi, there you are. What's up? Tell me what I can make for you. Nothing right now. I, no, I didn't come here to shop. Okay, well, I'm going out this way. Suck it. <laughs> My break with the Whee! academy was... Explosive, for lack of a better word. Actually, you I know what? That might be all I can do right now. <laughs> um. Oh! He needed Tivian or There's a chunk of it right here. What the... Sokolov, you're an idiot. Or, sorry, Sokolov. Piero, that probably was really insulting to him. <laughs> um, that's, uh, okay, I don't, that's, that's something important later. You know what, we're just gonna go, I think we're gonna go find our bed. We're gonna go check out the rest of the building. See, meet the rest of the people, and then we're gonna hit the sack, as it were, because uh, there's other people here. Oops, hi. I mean, not hi. There's no one down here. Oh, thank you, and thank you. I'm glad I fell into this basement, this awesome basement. I don't think we need to be down here right now, though. We will have to come down here later. But there's some people we want to meet. <sighs> Gotta do the meet and greets. Gotta meet and greet everybody. Everybody now. Nice to meet you. Shake my hand you now. Cool. You'll want to get do it. You'll be needed soon. Money. Nothing hiding, okay. Oh, 
Oh, what a pretty street. Do not attempt to house or care for a Shut up, you're not my supervisor. Who shows Can't tell me what to do. Blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Oh, we're back out here. Yay. This is exactly where No, I don't want to be. Can I go in here? I can. Aha! Whoops. Oh, hi. Hello. Lydia, 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 Lydia. My, you must be Corvo. I am. I am nice Lydia, to meet you. At your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. Awesome. When Good they to know. Me who it was? Well, I thought you'd be older, like the admiral. Yeah. No, I'm young and virile. Litany on the White Cliff. As I say to you, brothers, it is here that we make our stand. Oh, this is. Overseer shit. Ah, keep it in church, friend. Harpooner songs. Oh, what will we do with a drunken whaler? What will we do with a drunken whaler? What will we do with a drunken whaler? Or lie in the marn and feed him to the... Feed him to the hungry rats for dinner. Feed him to the hungry rats for dinner. Feed him to the hungry rats for dinner. Lie in the marn and... Wee and up she rises, wee and up she rises, wee and up she rises, her lie in the marn and slices his throat with a rusty cleaver, slices his throat with a rusty cleaver, slices his throat with a rusty cleaver, her lie in the marn and put him in the bed with the captain's daughter, put him in the bed with the captain's daughter, put him in the bed with the captain's daughter, her lie in the marn and I love that song. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take your pouch. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Be advised, the river I'm gonna actually just. I know you guys saved me and everything, but I'm gonna steal everything you have. And, <laughs> and I'm gonna sell it to Do your inventor. To approach or destroy a river crust. So. Any items recovered yes. Sorry, I guess. Are considered here. state property. Here to work with our masters. People say he. Mm, put him in the longboat till he's so pubmaster room key. Oh, pubmaster room key. Okay. Put him in the longboat till he's sober. Put him in the longboat till he's sober. Put him in the longboat till he's sober. Or lie in the marn. And the Gaffer's Tale, Volume 2, or a Gaffer's Final Passage. Really? Oh. So much reading. Uh, da, 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 da. After more than a quarter of a century, I am done with whaling. Too broken to continue. I've seen all the corners of the Isles and made more coin than most men see in a lifetime. But I've spent it all on whores. I've lived through the I lived through an emperor and watched his daughter take the throne. Fair young empress she was, but slain so young, everything beautiful. Oh, wait, who wrote this? Cause this is like they're they're clearly talking about uh that like what's her face? Why well, can't I? Ju all I can think of is Emily, and it's not Emily. What was Jessamine? Yeah, Jessamine. I've eaten in every port of the known world and sailed the loneliest waters you could imagine. I've seen the cliffs around Pandicia. Even the bit, even the best of it doesn't give me an ounce of joy. The years come back across my dreams as a line of butchered bodies, long, sleek, and singing among the waves under the moonlight, only to be speared by ugly, weather-scarred men who'd knife each other for a good pair of boots. Each year I had less time to come home. My tongue forgot the language of small chatter, and those who lived in the cities thought me odd. My sister Nina hardly knew what to say to me during our visits. When she lost her business to the Lord Regent's crooked barrister, I was a hundred miles east of Morley. Uh, gaff hand frozen from the sleet as we tracked the first bull whale we'd seen in months. I helped her as much as I could, but Nina died in the early days of the plague. None of it mattered. If I'm jaded and bitter, it's because the industry has taken away my dreams. The world has beaten me. Somebody here is not having a good time. Man, like, that's a lot of medals. Somebody here is having a bad couple days. Havelock Log Entry 1. It has been days since our men were dispatched to stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They have not returned, so I can only hope that they succeeded in getting the packages delivered. So I probably found some of them and picked their bodies clean, huh? <laughs> Piero spent considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass produce them, the Dunwall Navy would secure its place as the dominant force on the globe. But back to Corvo. Can he actually break out of Coldridge? And if so, will he make his way here? I personally give him odds of one in five. Well, good to know that I can count on you when it comes to having my back. Log entry one four. 
It seems we've moved to a new phase. Martin's improvisations have borne fruit. And the former bodyguard has been freed and is en route to the staging location. The Pendleton's voting Listening to his diary. All we've lacked is the ability to project lethal force in a controlled manner against a previously inaccessible... Ah, to the point, we need a man who can kill the bastards for us. Corvo is more than capable of that, I have no doubt. And willing. And I am super willing to kill any bastard Swift. you've got. Swift. Well, I'm not going to kill anyone. We're going to do... We're doing a, as pacifist as we can be. Uh, Gaffer's Tale, Volume 1. My sister Nina and I left Tivia together. Stay. Oh, they left together. Uh, saying goodbye to our aunt, the woman who had raised us since childhood, leaving behind our home city of Yarrow and the cold but beautiful white landscapes we had always known. We boarded a ship for Dunwall. Our parents had left us with a sizable inheritance, and we spent half of it getting uh, half of this getting to the capital city and establishing a small import shop dedicated to Tivy and furs. Once I'd helped Nina establish the business, I was free to pursue my dream. Signing on with a whaling ship was the most exciting thing I'd ever done. Wow, dude, I am. S I feel, dude. Oh God, did no, no one ever read you like storybooks? Whaling was the most exciting thing you could think of. That sounds like shit. And I haven't even watched, like, Deadliest Catch or any of that bullshit. That sounds terrible. Also, they're whales, man. What's wrong with you? Didn't your parents love you? And Oh, wait, they didn't raise you. Um, I saw it as a means to an end. Someday I would captain my own crew and eventually own a fleet of similar vessels. With tears in her eyes, Nina kissed me farewell, and I did not see her again for many months. As an apprentice to the gaffer, I got to see the tracking and killing of the great beasts up close. Nothing had ever fired my spirit so as the wind and pounding waves racing after a wounded whale being pulled by a skein of cables embedded in its thick flesh. I hate you. <laughs> I changed more in those first seven months than I had in the previous seven years. Whaling was beginning to put its mark on me so that Nina barely recognized me when I returned. Tanned and sinewy with muscle, weather uh, creases already wrinkling the corners of my eyes. But she could see that I was filled with joy, having found my purpose. And then she died, and I was nowhere near to help. She died alone, being, Where's my brother? Where's my brother? Admiralty in the fleet. Ah, uh, I don't care. I Like, I want to read it, but I don't care. Okay, if you guys want to read this one, you can pause it and read it. Um, let's see. You know what? I've done enough reading for one episode. We're like, what, one floor away? 13 meters yeah we're we're close enough we're gonna call this episode here and uh next time around we will uh we'll make our way upstairs to our sleeping quarters and uh take a little nappy nap shall we shall we yes let's shall thank you so much for hanging out i super appreciate it and i will catch you on the flip-flop